Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, a few of you guys requested that I get a wide max kit. So here it is. I have the version 2. Comes with the extended outer drive shafts. Let me show you. Okay, so this is a wide max kit. It's a version 2. It has the extended outer drive shafts. I opted to go with the green 8995G model. That's so it suits my green max. So let's crack it open and see what's inside. And we're going to find out. Is the Traxxas Max wide kit, is it actually worth the money and does it make it perform considerably better? As you can see on the features here, extended stream duty cold weather arms, widens the X-Max by 1.5 inches, compatible with stock drive shafts, increased cornering stability, includes new rear springs. And as you can see, it comes in a wide range of colors. Of course, I ended up going green to suit the green Max. I'll put links in the description to every color there is. Add a drive shaft instruction manual and the suspension instruction manual. Wow, they really jammed a lot in here, didn't they? These arms look awesome. Here are the four upper suspension arms. Pick a card, any card. And the four lower suspension arms. And I must say, they're really, really beefy. Container clips, rear springs, tow links, and now with all new extended outer drive shafts. And I must say, a big well done to Traxxas for updating this and including this because people were having problems with the Twisted, but now that they've updated it, I've heard it's basically fixed. But I'm gonna test that later. Well done, Traxxas. That's the kit in all its glory and all the pieces. I must say, it looks like pretty good value to me. For anyone that doesn't know already, these replace the arms and the drive shafts and the tow links and the suspension to give it more stability while cornering, but widening the wheelbase on the Traxxas Max. This is what it looks like with the stock suspension setup. And this is what it looks like afterwards. So now, it's time to install it all. Hey guys, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button and turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss a single upload. And we're nearly at 4,000 subscribers, which is just incredible. And I have all you guys and girls to thank for it. Also, do not hesitate to leave your comments in the comment section below as to maybe what RC car that you guys would like to see on the channel. I've got a few in mind and I've got a few coming, but the more suggestions, the merrier. As you've seen, we just pulled all this part. Now that it's all apart, feel free to give it a quick dust and clean. Whilst it's apart, it's generally the best time to do it. And now, we're gonna put it all back together again. Brushy, 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 brushy. On the left we have a rear shock and on the right we have a front shock. The front shock is to be replaced with the rear spring. Front shock, rear spring, combine. That is the wide max on the right hand side done of the Traxxas Max. Now, I have to do the other four corners, but you guys get the idea. Follow this step for all of them. The rear is even easier if you don't have to do the tow links. Guys, the Wide Max kit version 2 is on the Traxxas Max, and I must say, this looks incredible. Now, I didn't know how the green would match with the green, but I actually really, really like it. So let me clean up my desk. Let me clean this RC a little bit. Then we're going to go outside and test it out. Now, can you use tire shine on your RC car? Of course, I use it all the time. This is non-tire shine, but cleaned. This is tire shine and cleaned. I tend to get this really, really cheap silicon stuff. Just spray it on, wipe it off, 
and it basically cleans your car. It's really, really cool. Now, keep in mind, a little bit of dust will be attracted because of the silicon. It actually helps make it easier to clean. You can use WD-40, but you don't want to get it on your bearings, as you will need to re-oil your bearings, where this stuff, you won't. Here it is. Guys, I'm not joking. All this just from a can of tire shine and a wipe down with a towel. Look at the inside. It's basically like new again. No, it's not perfect. No, I don't recommend if you've just run it in the water. Probably gonna need a proper rebuild. And it's not perfect by any means. There's still a little bit of dirt down there, as you can see. For a very quick wipe down, it looks stunning. Okay, the White Max version 2 is now installed on the Traxxas Max and we are ready to take it out. I'm going to be using the 7000 mAh 4S 100C LiPo packs from Z. Links in the description as always, guys. If you guys remember, we used 9000 mAh Z Power LiPos in the Traxxas X Max. I'll leave that video linked in the description. And unfortunately, they don't fit in the Traxxas Max, but these do fit really, really well. Let me show you. So let's pop them in, give it a little squeeze, and tuck in that cable down there, and voila. And it even has plenty of headroom, so I might have to get some foam to put under there. Now I'm just gonna quickly change this battery connector to a black XT90, and then we're gonna take it for a test run. Okay, so here we are. I wanted to do another speed run just to see if the width would actually change the speed. I don't think it will, but I wanted to test it anyways. So the battery's on, the controller's on, and now the car's on. And guys, I know you can't see it, but out in the distance, we've got another hobbyist flying an aeroplane. How cool is that? All right, GPS is ready to go. We're gonna hit track and start, and let's do some speed running. I'll start back here and floor it. <laughs> All right, let's go again. I'm a little nervous because those tires do balloon a fair bit. All right, I think we've got a good couple of passes in. <laughs> let's check the speed. All right, let's hit stop, read. 46 miles an hour, guys. So still the exact same speed as last time, which is pretty much what I thought, but I had to give it a try anyway. Okay, one thing I want to do is I'm at this park and I want to actually test out the stability before we go and hit the skate park just in case we break something. So I just want to do a couple of turns at speed to see actually, to see how stable it is when cornering. Wow, okay, that is actually really stable. Full turn, full turn, full turn. You can hear the, you can hear the steering going full turn. No, I'm not full throttle, because obviously if I wanted to ro roll it over, I could. High speed, turn, oh, <laughs> it still managed to keep it straight. That's full, wow. Oh no. All right, I think I just popped the body off. All right, that was really impressive. I had that full throttle and full lock at the same time. Guys, so far I'm actually really impressed with this Wide Max kit. Not only does it just make it look so much better, but the handling is a lot better too. So let's go take it to the skate park. The only thing I think I'd do to it is actually raise the rear end a little bit. Okay, so after we bash it here at the skate park, I'm gonna throw in the 7,000 milliamp hour Z Power LiPo battery and just to see how much run time we get. But first, let's bash on. Ow, that threw a rock at my foot. I love how easy this thing does backflips. I would have loved if Traxxas actually brought it out like this. <laughs> Super smooth. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay, so one thing I'm noticing, which has nothing really to do with the Wide Max kit, the wheels aren't that grippy, so it slides a lot and it seems to tumble a little bit here, as well as it really does chassis slap a lot. So I'm definitely gonna have to raise the rear end and put some thicker shock oil all around, and then I think it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> Oh, recovered. Alrighty guys, that is lipo cut off. So let's go see how long this other battery lasts. I have the Z-Power lipo in the Traxxas Max. We're gonna turn on the controller and the car, and now we'll turn on the stopwatch. So, so I'm gonna set you guys up with the time lapse and then come back when we're done. Okay guys, sorry, I was just thinking, I was just driving around and I thought, you know what, I think that this wheelie bar has to go. I think when it touches the ground, it kind of sways the car around a little bit and causes it to flip over. So, so I'm probably going to get rid of that. Alright guys, we just hit lipo cutoff, let's see what time we got. And we got 30 minutes. I actually think that's pretty fair. I did notice that this thing does use a little bit more power, weirdly. I don't know if anyone else noticed that. Leave a comment below this video if that actually happened to you as well. 30 minutes. I was expecting around 35, 40 minutes. However, I'm not displeased at all. It's still a heap of fun and it's still a decent runtime. I hope you guys can see in there properly. Uh, the drive shafts have stayed completely straight. No twisting at all that I can see. So I'm really, really impressed that they've included these outer drive shafts. They've made a huge difference, saving people a lot of money compared to going to buy the steel ones, which can be quite expensive. I also noticed that the arms are a lot thicker. Obviously with more leverage makes a weaker part, but they have really beefed it up quite a fair bit. Overall guys, I'm actually really, really impressed with this and I highly recommend it. It's definitely worth the money in my opinion. To buy all this separate would cost a lot more. So just go and buy the kit. Again, I'll leave links in the description below to all the colors as well. And guys, if you want a Traxxas Max, I'll leave that in the link in the description as well. Also to all the colors. Basically everything that you see in this video will be in the description below. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and the notification bell if you want to be notified for when I upload. And don't forget, like the video and guys don't hesitate to comment in the comment section below asking for any suggestions or anything like that you guys do ultimately make up this channel and anything i can do to make it better i'd love to hear it that is all from me today guys i love you all take care and i'll see you in the next one peace out bye